His contact told him he could travel to the town of Azan in the Shabwa region. Azan is one of the most dangerous places in Yemen. This, in a way, is the heartland of Al-Qaeda or Ansar al-Sharia in Yemen. This is where they have set up base five years ago. It is here in, in the rugged mountains of Shabwa where the leadership of Al-Qaeda has been based. This was the home of Anwar al-Awlaki, an American-born preacher killed last year in a U.S. drone attack. Allegedly, it's out of here where they kind of masterminded all their terror plots. The approach to the town of Adzan was heavily guarded by al-Qaeda fighters. Adzan is their fortress. When you reach Azan, you feel it's more sinister than Jar. The town is more desolate, more empty, heavily guarded. They're very, very paranoid, far more than in Jar. I had many conversations with judges, clerics in Azan, and they wouldn't let us film because no one was allowed to be filmed to even have his voice recorded by the camera. No one was allowed to carry a, a cell phone. Gaith was shown the site of the U.S. drone strike. These are the spots where the son of the American preacher, Anwar al-Awlaki, was killed. The 16-year-old son of the al-Qaeda leader was a U.S. citizen. His son and eight of his friends were sitting in this place having dinner, and they were targeted by one rocket here, another rocket there, if you see this big circle targeted them, and then another rocket beyond this area. They say it's an American targeted killing for an American citizen, of course. It was the time for afternoon prayers. The streets were empty. At this checkpoint, Gaith discovered one gunman was from Somalia and another from Afghanistan. Inside this booth by the side of the road, recruits were distributing Al-Qaeda newsletters. This is in this kind of very, very isolated region. Yet here's this organization have devoted a part of its resources to a media wing of the organization. It's a small office, but it's very uh, sophisticated. That's why they are very, if we want to say, successful in, in their existence. They also gave away DVDs, including one called The Survivors, about commanders who survived drone attacks. Surviving or being killed in a U.S. drone strike is seen as a badge of honor here. <laughs> 